Hey friends, it's Cherie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Simplicity Pattern Haul. I know, I know, I did another pattern haul. Please forgive me, but I love patterns. What can I say? Before I get into this haul, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> I took the trip to Joann's. It's been a while, I'll say, since I went to Joann's, and there's a reason why it's been a while, because when I go in there, I lose my mind, okay? I will say that this time I was smart about my strategy. Before I went into Joann's, I had already made a list of all the things I needed to buy. I also set a timer on my phone, and when the timer went off, Regardless as to if I got everything on my list, I had to get out of the store. So I'm proud to say that I was in and out of that place in an hour. And for me, that's a big deal, okay? <laughs> Especially on a Friday night. And I will say there weren't very many people in there, so I really had the store, what it felt like all to myself. And I stuck to my list. Now some of the things that I purchased, I won't be sharing in this video because this video is specifically about patterns. And if I added everything in the video, it would be a really, really long video. So we're going to focus on the patterns. I went to get these patterns this weekend because they were on sale for $1.99 again. Friends, every time I get the announcement that these patterns are going on sale for $1.99, I definitely try to get there as fast as I can. And this time I made it. Now I do believe that next weekend, which is the last weekend in August, I believe, the McCall patterns will be $1.99. So I might be making another trip, but I'm pretty sure I got all the McCall patterns that I want right now. Um, if there are any McCall patterns that I don't, that I decide to get, they will probably be patterns that are older that I maybe wanted a long time ago and just never got. But I think I pretty much have everything that I want for what's been currently released. Now, obviously, when all the fall patterns come out, I'm sure there'll be some patterns that will make me feel like I have to purchase them. So I won't say that this is my last pattern haul for a while, but I will let you know that I think I have everything I want for now. <laughs> all right, so I want to start by first sharing that I picked up some tote bag patterns. I definitely want to get into some bag making. I'm hoping to figure out which patterns I like before I start sewing for Christmas. It would be really cool if I could sew up some totes for gifts for people. And I want to make some really nice totes. I don't want to make just, you know, flimsy, you know, rip easy holes in um, type of totes. I want to make some quality totes that people will actually feel good about using. So I want to test these patterns out for myself before I actually make them for gifts for other people. So the first pattern that I got is Simplicity S9308. It has three different tote sizes and they're all the sizes are really good, but obviously my motto is go big or go home. So I will be focusing on the larger two totes. And this particular pattern is probably going to be pretty simple. It's probably not something I needed a pattern for. I have seen tutorials on how to make totes similar to this in the past, but I wanted to make sure that I got the measurements right. So I went ahead and got the pattern. And I do believe the only thing that I would need to add besides the fabric to make these totes is interfacing. So I did get medium weight interfacing to use on these totes. Hopefully that's sturdy enough. I do want to try to make these in 100% polyester fabric. I actually want to do sublimation ink transfers onto the totes. I can put personalized messages to family and friends or I can put images. So I really like the idea of doing that on these totes. So I will be using 100% polyester for some of them as well as denim. I think that would be really cool to do some denim totes. So with recycled denim that is. <laughs> so that's why I picked up this one. The next tote that I got is similar but has more versions. It is also bigger. So there's these two big totes here which I think are perfect for anyone who likes to carry a lot of stuff with them. They're perfect for moms that carry not only their own stuff but their kids' stuff too. Um, and they're perfect for weekend trips or like say you want to go spend the night at your sister's house or something like I would love to do if my sisters lived in town. <laughs> then I would just grab a bag like this and throw my overnight clothes, whatever I need, some shoes, 
toiletries, whatever, in a bag like this and it'd be perfect. So there's also this really cool drop style bag here that I'd like to try. I think that the actual strap on this is really unique and cool. So yeah, so this particular one I do believe requires some things that I have never used before, like sew in hair canvas, never heard of it. Um, also, it does require, some. a couple of these require non-fusible fleece. And when I was at Joann's, I didn't see non-fusible fleece, well, anything that was marked as non-fusible fleece in the area where I was looking for bag making supplies. So um, I might not do that version. Another thing that a couple of these versions calls for is cardboard. Now I haven't read the instructions on this, so I'm sure that it will let me know how those items will be used in this pattern. But I do think that these are really great patterns that I'd love to make and gift to people. And so that is another tote pattern that I picked up. Lastly, I am going to have to make some more masks. I know, I probably said this already on my channel that I was done making masks. I've made so many masks. The last thing I wanna do is make more masks, but I'm still on the hunt for a pattern that works well for my family. And this particular pattern actually has a different style. I haven't actually seen this particular style. It actually has three pieces here and it has a triangle in the middle. And I don't know if you can see because of my ring light, it almost has like a duck bill look to it to me, in my opinion. Um, so this is Simplicity. Oh, you know what? This is the counter version. So it has R11056. You can Google that and it'll tell you the actual pattern number. But the counter number is R11056. And I like it because it gives you the option to be able to use the long elastic around the head or the elastic loop for the ears. So... Yeah, I'm going to give this a try for both my kids and myself and probably my husband um, and see how that goes. I'm hoping that it cones out enough to where it doesn't make my children feel like they're being smushed. So this is a good one. And also for each of these different styles, it comes in a small, medium, and large sizes. So it's a really good value. I know a lot of people don't rely on patterns to make their masks. And that's great if you have found um, a ratio of shapes that works for you. But I have been doing that from jump and I have found that I still haven't found the perfect one. So we're gonna try a pattern this time around and see how it goes. All right, so the next thing that I got is some more Mimi G patterns. A few of, or a couple of these are actually patterns that I have been eyeballing for a really long time. And I wasn't sure if I needed them, you know, like I have a lot of button up shirt patterns. I have a lot of pant patterns that are the loose style. If you guys have seen my videos in the past, you know that I like a loose flowy type of pant. It hides all your business and it's also very comfortable and cute. <laughs> but the more I see this pattern in particular, the more I want it. And I recently stumbled on a lovely lady's video um, and she had made this top and I was like, I need to have that top. So this is the Mimi G style S8889 and it's this beautiful top here, cropped in the front, long in the back. I have some really great white shirting fabric that could work with that. I also have tons of cotton ditzy floral print fabric that would work really great for this top. So I'm definitely going to make it and if the first one comes out good, I'm probably going to make as many as possible because it's definitely my style. I can wear it with jeans, corduroy, skirts whatever I want, I just think it's a really nice top. I also like the pants, however, the pants are not what necessarily made me buy the pattern, it was the shirt. So, again, $1.99, couldn't beat it. The next Mimi G pattern that I got has the flowy pants that I love, right? And then it has a cotton little tank and it has this cool jacket and I think this three-piece set is super cool. We really didn't get much of a summer um, it hasn't been very warm, so it's not something that I'll probably make this summer. I'll maybe try next summer when I will be traveling, hopefully, to see family and stuff. Um, but I definitely love the idea of making these pants and that crop top. It's super cute, and even though I don't have a tiny midsection, I think when you have a higher-waisted, wide leg pant like that, it hides some things, so you can absolutely wear a crop with it if you have pants that kind of hide the stuff you don't want to draw attention to, okay? So this is Simplicity 8558 and it's a great value. It's got three items in here for $1.99.
no brainer. Now, this next Mimi G pattern is Simplicity 9268. And I'll admit, you know, I was very hesitant about this pattern. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute on her, okay? Um, but the more I looked at it, the more I thought, you know, I could really enjoy a pair of pants like this and I could really enjoy a crop top or a tube top like this. Now, because I'm a very busty person, I probably will skip this version because I have lots of really great cotton crop tops um, that I think would look really cute with these pants. So I definitely want to make these pants and I will probably make them out of a bubble gauze or even a linen, something that crinkles, something that's comfortable. Um, you know, I love the double gauze uh, or bubble gauze at Joann's. So I think that would be really cute. And I think I might even have some light purple. It's not quite this color purple in my stash, about two yards. So I might actually be able to make those pants out of that fabric. Let's see, this takes, yeah, two and one eighth yard. I definitely have enough to make those pants out of the fabric I already own. And it's very cute. Now, I did see that Brittany Jones made this and it was absolutely adorable on her. It looks so cool. So if she could do it, I could do it too, right? I hope, we'll see. <laughs> But if nothing else, these pants with my cotton crops that I already have would be really cute. Now the last Mimi G pattern that I got is the Simplicity S9261. It is a sexy little number um, and it's to be made out of a knit fabric. I love this dress. I especially love that the back is completely covered. Now I have found that quite a few of the Mimi G patterns that I'm drawn to, the, they're so gorgeous in the front. And then when you turn around, the back is out. And as a busty girl that must wear a really good banded bra to feel comfortable, I never can buy them. So I was really excited that this one actually shows cleavage, so it's perfect for date night. My husband got on my case about not making sexy things. Um, so I told him, you know, if you're gonna take me on a date, then maybe I will make something that's a little bit more sexy, okay? So maybe I will make this dress, okay? Um, and I just think it's a really beautiful dress. It's very flattering and I love it. So I will be making this for sure. I don't know which, which of my fabrics to use, but I do have quite a few knit fabrics to choose from. Um, so this is a really good pattern. I really love this, actually, actually this really cool shoulder detail. Let's see if you can see in the line drawings. My ring light might be washing it out, but it's got kind of a squared detail or a flap over the shoulder, and I think that's really cool. The next pattern that I got is another pair of flowy pants because that's my jam. Um, it's Simplicity. Oh, this is another counter one. Sorry, guys. If you Google this number, it'll give you the actual pattern number, but it's R11064, and it's an easy-to-sew pattern. It has four views. So there are these two pairs of pants here. One is more tapered at the ankle, and the other one is more wide leg, and it also has an option for shorts. I love all the versions, to be perfectly honest. I think that this version right here is beautiful. This is probably the version that I would make. Actually, I would make version B because it doesn't have the drawstring. It's just got a flat front elasticated back, and that's totally my style. It's comfortable, but it looks you know, more clean. I love the way that looks. And so I can absolutely see myself wearing these pants. And again, it's a pattern with a model who kind of looks like me. And I saw this and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can wear that. That looks so good. <laughs> and so um, I'm definitely gonna make these pants. I might actually make all versions to be honest because they're all really good. This can be made out of charmeuse, cotton types, crepe de chine, gauze, lightweight linen, silky types. So lots of different fabric options for this guy and it's gorgeous. The next one is another kimono style type of top and this is an easy to sew Simplicity S8172. Now I do have a couple of kimono style or inspired tops in my stash already, but this one's a little different. I like it because it kind of flares out from under the bust area and I just think that's so cute and flattering and then it kind of has a waterfall effect down the hips and it's longer in the back. I think that's so pretty and I think it's a really cool way to add some color to a boring basic colored outfit. So I could see myself trying to jazz up something that's a little bit more comfortable by throwing this on top. Like if just like she did some jeans and a white t-shirt is like, ah, 
belongs, jeans and white t-shirt. When you throw on a colorful, beautiful little um, cover up, I think it just adds a little element to it. So this kimono inspired top will be so great for my closet and it actually has four different views. And I'm looking at the views and really just C and D are to my liking, but Still, I'm happy to make this and I like that it's an easy to sew because even though I know how to sew, it's always fun to have easy to sew projects that I can just sneak in in the middle of the week when I'm kind of tired, but I really still want to sew. So I'm happy about that. All right, the next one is so cute. I cannot wait to make this. This is the Easy to Sew Simplicity S9140. This dress is so cool. Something about the skirt of this just really, it just really makes me excited. <laughs> Um, it's got an interesting shape, but it also draws in at the waist, so it doesn't make you feel like it's too loose or baggy. Um, I do like that a lot. It also has the option to have a waist tie, or you can make a shorter version, which is like knee length and doesn't have this shape on the bottom. So you could really have three different dresses in this one pattern, one that has the sleeves, one that has a short sleeve, and then you could make the short version that doesn't have this interesting shape on the bottom. It's just a really great pattern and it can be done and both knits and woven. So I really appreciate that as well because it's a little bit more versatile. So glad I picked up this one. Now this next one, I'll be honest, I've wanted it, but I was a little nervous to get it because I don't know what this will look like on my bust. Um, and it has princess seams, which I generally love. So I could definitely do some full bust adjustments if I need to. But it's such a beautiful little summer dress and while I probably won't make it this year, I just like the idea of having it in my stash and I definitely want to revisit it. Like if I decide to go to a wedding or something next year or a party, I think it would be perfect to wear and it's lovely. There's three versions, uh, yeah, there's three versions, one that is a strappier version, one that has more of a flutter on top. And then there's a long version and a short version. So lots of variations in this pattern and I think it's a really beautiful pattern and I'm happy to have it. The next one is a mommy and me pattern. And while I don't have a little daughter that I wish I had, um, I do love the mommy version. This definitely looks like something that I would wear on Monday through Friday. Um, it's super cute, and if I made it out of a lightweight denim or chambray, I could definitely wear it with tights in the winter. And so I can definitely wear this all year round, all year round, even though it is kind of short. <laughs> um, but it's super cute, and I love the neck and shoulder details. It has a puff sleeve with elastic right here at the bottom of the sleeve and I love that, it's so cute. And it looks comfortable too. So anytime I can be cute and comfortable, I'm happy about it. The next one is another mommy and me pattern. Guys, I gotta get me a daughter, okay? Uh, somebody give me your daughter, please, okay? <laughs> so that sounded crazy, forgive me. Um, this is another one I pulled from the counter, sorry about that. So if you want the power number, you'll have to Google it. It's R11065. I'll probably end up Googling it myself and adding it in the information section of this video just so that you don't have to. But this is a really great mommy and me pattern and it's just really cute and comfortable and I could see myself wearing something like this all year round. There is a long dress version which it's hard to see in this picture with my ring light. Sorry about that, guys. And then they have an above the knee, like mid thigh tunic length. And it has really big, deep pockets, which I love. And it has a, a wide sleeve. You can do a three quarter length or you can do a short sleeve. So cute. And if I had a daughter, we would totally twin out in this because it's so functional. As a preschool teacher, I definitely appreciate anything that has big, deep pockets. So this is definitely something that I will be making, hopefully out of a linen. I think that will be really nice. The next two patterns I got to uh, make things for my husband, but I probably will use this, because one of them is a unisex. I'll probably use it for myself because it does look quite comfortable. This is another uh, counter pattern and it's R11086. It's this cool unisex pattern that has a knit sweatshirt style top and shorts. And then it also has the short sleeve version and joggers. Now, I am not a huge fan of 
this type of jogger that stops above the ankles. Guys, I don't like my ankles to be cold. I don't know why this is such a thing. Like most of the jogger patterns that I see out there stop above the ankle bone. And I'm just like, wait, we try to be cozy when we're in our joggers. What is going on? Or at least I'm trying to be cozy in my joggers. So I never gravitate towards patterns that stop above the ankle um, bone. But if I do get them, I usually use the lengthen um, and shorten line to lengthen it a little bit because I cannot have my ankles out there, especially during the winter, okay? Um, but I do like that it has four different versions and I would absolutely make these shorts for my husband. At one point I had this really beautiful uh, jersey. I think it was a DTY fabric and it was African print and my husband wanted shorts out of it so bad and I ended up using all of it for myself. <laughs> and I just told him, you know, I don't have a pattern that's meant for jersey fabric for men. So, I, mm. <laughs> and then I used it for myself. Well, I'm going to try to hunt down some really cool um, jersey African print fabric so that I can make these shorts for my husband. And I think he would actually enjoy wearing a sweatshirt like this, even if it's just in the house. Um, so yeah, I got that for him. I also got this pattern for him. It is Simplicity S9314. I definitely like this basketball sleeveless style type of t-shirt, as well as these woven shorts. Now I have made him African print um, cotton shorts before in the past and he likes them. But I wanted to find one that didn't require a zipper this time around. So this one has a drawstring waist. And it looks pretty relaxed and comfortable. And I think that it would look nice on him. So we're going to give this a try. He doesn't necessarily like the top. But if I make it for him, he might wear it. I don't know. Anyway, those are all the patterns that I picked up in the Simplicity sale at Joann's, which ends tomorrow, guys. So if you're interested in picking up some patterns for yourself from Simplicity and you want to save yourself some money, go today or go tomorrow and pick up your patterns. Uh, today is the 21st. The sale, I believe, started on the 19th. So... There you go. If you miss the Simplicity pattern sale, but you do want to get some patterns on sale, I definitely encourage you to go next weekend when they have the $1.99 sale for McCall patterns. Now, I also want to say that this weekend they're having a quick sew, or is that what it's called? I think it's called quick sew. Um, patterns are also $1.99. Anyway, those are all my, my patterns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Bye.